For the first time, we are hearing from several Northwestern football players about hazing allegations that led to the ouster of the team's longtime head coach. They are part of a coming lawsuit alleging sexual and racial assaults, part of a toxic culture that goes beyond baseball or football. CBS 2's Chris Ty live in our newsroom with the newest allegations and these firsthand accounts. Chris. Jim and Marie, the athletes' attorneys say some of these victims were minors when it all began and that it's not limited to male sports. Players who say they had to comply to survive in the program. The graphic, sexually intense behavior was well known throughout the program. We were physically and emotionally beaten down and some players have contemplated suicide as a result. The abusive culture was especially devastating for many players of color. Lloyd Yates was a wide receiver joining the Wildcats in 2015. Tommy Carnifax arrived the next year. I spent the last four years hating myself and what I went through here, and this is the opportunity to possibly make a difference. So I'm going to take it. Simba Short left after just one year with the program. All we wanted to do was play ball, and we were subjected to sort of this culture. Um, and, and, and we lived in fear. Uh, don't live in fear. Uh, like Tommy said, I'm dealing with things. Those things are the subject of a lawsuit coming from attorney Ben Crump, who says his case will go beyond the Northwestern sports that have been named so far. How many different programs are you referencing? Well, we know of, we know of at least three programs. Which are what? Football, baseball, and softball. And these were young girls who were not even uh, of age yet. And uh, they were preyed upon from day one. Hazing, they say, which was sexual, physical, and psychological abuse at the hands of teammates forced by coaches. If they didn't participate, they were going to be the victims. They feared losing playing time if they didn't do as coaches ordered. Coaches the school stood by, some of whom are still on the payroll. I find it hard to believe that they were not aware of, of what was taking place. In a statement, Northwestern telling CBS 2 this afternoon they do not comment on pending litigation and that after their independent investigation into football hazing, new steps began, including monitoring of the football locker room, anti-hazing training, and the establishment of an online reporting tool for complaints. And they say they are working with an outside firm to evaluate the sufficiency of accountability mechanisms like those that we just ticked off. The lawsuit from these players is expected to be filed soon, according to the authorities. Live in the newsroom, Chris Ty, CBS 2 News. Chris, thank you.